Hello, I'm the critic. I remembered so you don't have to. It is 8.01 a.m. The reason why I say that is because I woke up early thinking that there was school until I found out there is none. So why am I making it so early? Because I felt like it and I want to talk about something. People are always saying, if you if you don't want to watch anything, if you want to watch something horrible, watch Green Lantern or something MSD3K let out. No, I thought to myself, it's Green Lantern. He's the little embodiment of creation, I think. He can make anything. He has a ring that can, like, whatever your mind thinks up, it will create. Like, if you want a giant evil hamburger, it will make a giant evil hamburger. And then some. It's like, come on. How bad could it be? Oh, boy. It's bad. It's not as bad as I thought it would be, but at the same time, it's still pretty bad. And if you're wondering what I'm looking at, the, the news is on. It's telling us like about deep Frost and snow, I just want to see what schools are out. So sorry about that. Yeah, here's the cover. I remember getting this as like a Christmas present. The back, it says PG-13. But the only reason why it says that is because they swear like tomorrow. There's also a little sneak peek of the Green Lantern animated series, which I... Which I will make a review of. I just don't have the time. I'm thinking of other reviews. Because there's also going to be a Slash review. Of Batman Noel. Which is Batman Christmas Carol. Which is why I'm going to cut this. I'm going to talk about this. Then I'm going to talk about Batman Noel after reading it. So let's get to this first. Okay, it says about comic number one. And cut real fast. I'm back. I just finished watching the Green Lantern Animated Series episode Larflees. Pretty good episode though. A thousand times better than this. Not bad for a 2011 movie. But you know, for what I got... It did give me Green Lantern. And not in the way that I know Green Lantern, but... A Green Lantern. It did give me Hal Jordan. I mean, I felt this was Hal Jordan. Just not in the ways everybody knows it. So that's why it probably did bad. People probably knew it from comics and things, and it probably couldn't adapt. But if they did it nowadays, with all the CG they do, don't do Back to the Future, because Back to the Future is good enough alone. Leave Back to the Future alone. It's, it's good as a series. This, on the other hand, could use some of that Hollywood makeovers. So, Hollywood, if you hear me, Remake Green Lantern, please. Please. The animated series was good. I'll leave a link below to the episode I saw. <coughs> and if you want Batman we'll Noel, wait five minutes. Or a second. Batman Noel. Yeah, it's also 8.30 now. So, yeah. Batman Noel, Batman Noel. It's basically Batman Christmas Carol. And, first you think, that's stupid. That's the worst idea, but... If you really think about it, Batman and Christmas Carol works... Well. Very well, in fact. The past is Selena, which I thought was mm, a mediocre idea. The present, 
the Ghost of Christmas Present was Two-Face. Because, yes. And the Ghost of Christmas Future was the Joker. This was an excellent choice for so many reasons, because... Yang and Yang, yada ya. And that famous grave scene where he shows Ebenezer his screw, his Ebenezer's his grave, literally has the Joker burying Batman in his grave. Genius. So yeah, that's what I think of Batman and Will and this thing. I'll put a link below to, to to both of these things. But my opinion of both. Green Lantern was good, could be better. Batman Noel couldn't be better. The greatest thing I saw. A. So yeah, that's it. Bye, kitties. I'm the critic, I remember, so you don't have to. Goodbye.